going to be watching an interesting story about a teen that gets pregnant. It's cool. I think she's like 16 or something, but a uh, teen. That is not not bad, but it's not good either because I know teen pregnancies happen all the time now. And, and back in the day, it was kind of like it was really like, you know, it was really a big deal. I mean, especially when you had like teen mom, like teen mom on MTV, like stuff like that happening. But yeah, I mean, it, it just happened, dude. So, I mean, you just really can't, you know, put it. I can't really put it in the words, but I do know that, you know, you just got to do the right thing at the end of the day, you know. But we're going to watch this. I think this is from uh, Secret Diaries, I believe, or Secret Diaries, I believe, Secret Diaries. And we're going to check it out, man. Um, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and um, hit the subscribe button, man, if you if you may will. Thank All right, guys, here we go. Dad. They just wrote horror. Oh, my gosh. Based on a true story. Okay, guys. Dang. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, which all girls do. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Some of them, some of them don't somehow. Yeah. Always does. She got that Mark Jacobs bag. Okay, she got some money. Her mama got some money. Huh. Um. I'm going to pause right there, but guys, there you see that you do see that, right? Like it's crazy because that's like one of the things, like one of the, the kind the two things that, you know, girl, the pregnant teens go through, like one, they either, you know, kind of like their self-esteem goes down. It goes completely all the way down, like train wreck down, like it goes all the way down, man, and their their mental health also goes down, man. It's crazy, but that's how some of these girls, you know, react. They're cruel. Some of these girls are cruel to these pregnant girls, man. They see them as a, oh, oh, you got pregnant. You're terrible. You're pregnant at 16. That's never happened before, but if you really understand, like, the true capacity of that situation, you will understand. Damn. Yeah, I'm sure she did. No, she's not. She's not. Planned Parenthood. Oh, wow. Oh man, oh lord, oh gosh. I'm sure it is. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh, she's gonna cry. 
I understand what she's going through, though. I mean, not physically. A, a lot of women feel... It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I, I mean... Again, like I said, I don't I have no idea what she's going through, but a lot of women know they, they I mean, they get pregnant at 15. Some girls get even, they get pregnant at 12. I know, I know. I've heard of these, these things, but it's crazy because how one, one, one party can change your life forever. It's a guaranteed fact, man. One party can change your life forever. First you're first you're living your life as a teenage girl and the next the next time you're a freaking mom. You know? No, she said. Danny, that must be her ex-boyfriend, for sure. That's what I'm saying, yo. Two months later, okay. Wow, hope so too. Uh oh, gotta hide, gotta hide. Oh, strip. So, I heard you. The Buckeyes. Shout out to the Buckeyes fans. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. Some of these girls, like, sloppy seconds, man. Like I said, dude, you know, that's a real thing. Like, freaking sloppy seconds. Like, for, for some reason, like, you know, these girls, like, once they see an opportunity, like, after, after this girl, Lily, she's mentally scared like scared about this i mean happening she's pregnant she's 16 and she's got no word she's got no path she's got no path she's got no guidance it's crazy and the people in it and it affects the people around her too as well some people might affect it they might be affected in negative ways and sometimes they'll be affected in positive ways you never know man you never know Hmm. Oh, she's wearing a sweater. See that? See, that's the first sign, dude. Oh, the principal. Is that the principal? That's got to be the principal. Oh, they must have a dress code. Yeah. They must have uniform policy. Cause... Yeah. Yeah. Yo.
Just a bell. It makes it gets the class. Yes, sir. Get your ass to class. That's what they say. That's what all the teachers say. They say, you better get your ass to class. Because if you ain't hauling ass, you either getting suspended or you got detention. That was the two things. But I don't think I don't think you would have ever got expelled for get, being late to class, bro. That's that's kind of harsh. Dude, if I got expelled for being late to class, I would freaking. You don't know what I would do, but it wouldn't be pretty. They do have a dress code. Yeah. Understandable. Okay. Right. Yeah. That's what's up, yo. Yep, get get the class, girl. Just go. Yeah. I mean, as long as you're doing good in school, it don't matter, bro. But still, can't hide the fact that you're pregnant. Oh, she about to throw up. Uh-oh. See, see, that's the thing right there. That's a, that, that's a sign. That is a sign that she's pregnant. She knows it. When you had to constantly had to go to the bathroom to go blow chunks, yep, you're definitely pregnant. There's no doubt about it. You can't hide it. You can't hide it. I mean, you can't you can hide it for so you can't hide it for so long. But for so long, and then some people are gonna start to figure out that you are pregnant, though. Ooh, well, like they were like freaking tuna salad right there. More much go by. Hmm. Yeah, she so can tell she's getting bigger. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, that's the first uh, sign of uh, you know, she's getting bigger. She just the bumps are definitely going by, and you know, it's it's a it's a signal. It's a sign. It's a cycle. He's going through the uh, going through that that continuous cycle. <laughs> now her mama knows she's going to uh consume bigger portions of food she's going to get cravings that's that's the constant um sign of pregnant women they get you know they're yep she's feeling low she can't feel normal after this you know Yeah. 
I don't think anybody does. People are laughing at her. This is one of the uh, the clear cases of man versus society. I mean, a lot of people, um, I mean, one person can, you know, alter the environment just like that. A pregnant person, a person with a disability, like, that's real life, you know. You see somebody because of the way they look or the way they sound or how different they act or, you know, because that's, you know, that's life. You know, they have a disability or they, you know, have a, they're, you have a, like, kind of like a physical disability or like a, you know, physical impairment. But um, it's crazy, man, how people turn on you and stuff. But, you know. At least I hope her friend is supportive, you know. Oh, what? This guy's got one earring? Hold on. Let's focus, y'all. Oh, see, the whole... Bro, it's not even that serious. I mean, it is serious, but it's not funny, though. It's not. Okay, dang. Look at them. They still laughing. I can't. The dude with the earring is throwing me off, bro. At least their friend is supportive, man. I mean, a lot of a lot of times in the situation, the friend would be like, would ditch her, like, cause she's you know pregnant. She says like, oh no, she my friend is pregnant. But I'm glad she's supportive, man. You always gotta have them friends that are gonna be supportive of you, even though you're pregnant or even though you you got something going on. They're still gonna be supportive of you, man. And that's the that's the type of friend I am, man. I don't care. Like, dude, that's the type of dude I am, man. I would, if no amount of money in the world would make me betray my fam family, man. No amount of money would, you know, change my mom. Like, I would not, I would not sell out my mom for the money, man. I would, I would choose my mom over the money, dude. I don't care if you offer me a million dollars. I'm sticking with my mama. That's, that's a doubt. I mean, that's the freaking facts, bro. Bro, what kind of stupid question? Man, dude, you're making it. Man, you're making it worse, bro. Yeah, tell him, dude. Yeah. Whoa, a D? Oh, whoa. Not exactly. I feel like she's doing this on purpose, bro. Danny? That's Danny. That that's the baby daddy, right? That's got to be the baby daddy, bro. Cause she was talking about him. Okay, yeah. So he is the the baby daddy. He just don't. Just like Christian. Kill him. 
Nah, bro. He don't care. He not if he not being supportive, bro. Don't do that, girl. I feel like the teacher has a vendetta against her, man. Cause he just because he's pregnant, bro. That's why she gave her a D on the test or the pop quiz or whatever they were doing. No doubt, no doubt. She's been having a crazy time so far. Yeah, bro. At all. I mean, yeah, it's okay. It's normal. Yeah. I don't think it is. It's not normal at all. I know. That's how it. That's how it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And this man playing basketball, man. That's Oh, she oh, she actually came to talk to him or she might be confronting him. I don't know. She probably, he probably does. There she is, bro. Yeah. Wow, bro. Yeah, he is very evil, man. No, he never cared, man. That's what they all say. Oh, damn, that was such this. That was this. Hey, can we go back to that? That was the, hold on, let's go back to that one more time. Dude, that was the softest smack ever, man. Like, she just didn't even try. She like, dude, you got to give him that Will Smith treatment, man. The, the Chris Rock treatment, man. You just got it. Nah, I'm just joking, bro. Respect to Will Smith and Chris Rock, bro. It was crazy, man. Like, this, he, he's, he's like, he's freaking denying it. He's in denial about it. Man, denying that. It's crazy, man. Dang, she's gotta she's gotta live with like the baby is almost like a burden to her, like pretty much, you know. Okay, what's going on here? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yes, sir. 
Mm -hmm. He's got no tenure. He understands. Yeah. All right, bro. Get to the point. Dang, 29 years? Yeah, you tell him, man. Nigga, I'm talking to you, bro. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah, bro. This man should be the principal. Not this, this doofus. Yeah, you better say something to him, man. Because, like, he's going to keep on letting this drag by. It's crazy, man. It'd be the principal that'd be the main one. An F. Dang, she giving her an F? First it was a D, now it's an F. Okay, she's taking it a little too far, bro. I feel like she's actually got all the answers right, but she's she's marking them wrong on purpose. What the heck? Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. I know they didn't just... I don't know. That's what I said. People can be cruel, man. They just literally wrote that on her locker, man. And her friend is still being supportive. Good friend. W friend right there, man. Oh no, what's going on? Is he having contractions? Oh no! Oh lord. Call 911. Bro, the appetite. The apathy from the teacher, man. You just... Why are you looking? Call. Bro, the apathy from the teacher is, is really crazy, man. Because, like, not only does she not care about Casey in general. Now she don't need... Well, then, then again, like, before she even got pregnant, she had a good relationship with Casey. But now it's like she don't even... She can care less about her. Bro, you obviously see something's wrong. Call 911. What are you doing? Man. Uh, she knows she's in the hospital. Okay, thank God. Nothing happened to the baby.
it would be a tough pill to swallow to know that something happened to your daughter and it was like nothing you can really do about like or about it What's the grade this time? Man, it's still an F? What the heck? She just got out of the hospital. You got to talk to her. You got you to gotta say something, Casey. Come on, girl. Say something, Casey, please. Speak up, man. Speak up, please. You're pregnant. I get it. Speak up. Yes, speak up. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. See, that's an F. C F F. She's got. She got. She's got it out for her. She's got it out for her. Why? Why would she do? No, no. You can't be telling me she's doing this to to all the other students. She's just mainly doing it specifically to Casey, knowing that she's pregnant. She's giving purposely giving her a bad grade. That's that's how it is, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, t let her have it. Speak. Speak it, speak it. And she will. You show her, you show her, Casey. Show her that you're not that that you're not wrong. She can do it, man. This is tough, man. Hey, use that as motivation, though. I always use bad grades as motivation to do better. Bro, shout out to the guidance counselor, man. Because the guidance counselor really be helping, bro. Like, whenever somebody really, like, dude, like, my guidance counselor in middle school, man, helped me out. Same with elementary. And, and, and in high school, man. Shout out to freak, dude. Shout out to Mr. Murray, man. Shout out to Mr. Murray. He was a real one, man. He was my, he was literally, he was my, um... He was he was my counselor all four years of uh high school, man. Shout out to Mr. Murray, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, there's a lot of ways she could take, she could always put the baby up for adoption. I mean, if she, I mean, she didn't want to take it to the Smushmortion clinic, you know, but I mean, that's her choice, you know. Oh. Wow. Uh-huh. Is this?
Is this a dream or is this real? One month later. Hold on. One month later. I'm getting invested in this, y'all. Nine months? Wow. Her belly is big now. Uh oh, she's having she having contractions, man. Oh my gosh. Yo. Her water is breaking. No, y'all. Dude, is she about to have the baby in the grocery store? That's going to be wild. It's going to be a grocery baby, man. What? Ain't no way, man. That's insane. Oh, my gosh. She's going to, man, she's going to have, she's going to go into labor at a grocery store. No kidding. True story, man. I once had a woman have, uh, she literally was about to go in labor. But she came to the grocery store. It was freaking insane. Somebody help, dude. Her water broke. Oh, my gosh. Wow, dude. Man, you know what? You know what? Nah, get him out of here, man. You just now decided to show up. Nah, well, get out of here, man. We don't want you. We don't want you. You had your chance and you blew it. You know, simple as that. Don't try to come back. Man, you ain't sorry. You were not sorry. The don't even play that sympathy card, man. I'm so sorry. Don't take him back. If you take him back, that would be the biggest mistake of your life. Oh, the baby does look cute, bro. Wow. And there's, he's actually, he actually is going to help be a father, man. Sorry. Is it a girl or a boy? I don't know. It's a girl. I think it is a girl. The, the crib is pink. Mr. Bennett. Oh, did she get? Thank goodness, bro. Cause that te dude, Miss Miss Turner was like. Thank goodness, man. Good job, guidance counselor. I respect the heck out of you, bro. You were... Man, shout out to the principal, man. He redeemed himself. Miss Turner, man. What the heck was wrong with her, man? Yeah. Aw, okay. Well, that was good, guys. That was real good.